hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you how i made this delicious roasted yam in an oven with the sauce oh these are sauce please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel let's get it started <laughs> First and foremost, before roasting, I already washed my yam and dried it. Check if the yam is good inside because sometimes it might look perfect outside but our inside is rotten. Put the yam inside the oven and lower the heat. Cover the oven. If you don't lower the heat of your oven, the yam is gonna burn. Two hours later, I came back. My yam is ready to know if the yam is ready take your finger and press the yam press the yam if the yam is soft is ready time to peel you peel the bag when if the yam is ready automatically it's gonna peel very easily if it's not ready it's gonna be hard to peel <laughs> my yam is ready time to make my ozeza sauce in order to make my dry ozeza to be soft i soak it in warm water to make it soft i blend it together with my habanero pepper to bring out the bitterness the bitter taste of ozeza Ozisa is very medicinal by the way, it's very very good to the health. I listed some health benefits at the beginning of the video in case you didn't see it, go back and watch it. My red oil is congealed, it's solidified. Or should I say my red oil is sleeping? <laughs> in order to wake it up, I heated it up in the microwave for like 20 seconds. I added onions to my blended ozeza. I'm mixing all together with the red palm oil. Manuri. Finally, we have oba, obaka. This makes it more local. It brings out the local, delicious, juicy, yummy, yummy taste. You would not want to miss it. Try it. It's ready. It's ready. Later. It's ready. Roasted yam with ozeza Honestly, the best way to eat this is with your hand, but if you want to use fork, it's up to you. 